My name is Father Robert Luvakubandi. I'm a Catholic priest of Musoma Diocese in Mara region, Tanzania. I was ordained 2008 and when I was ordained, I was appointed as a, a pastor of the Cathedral Church, the, uh, the Catholic Church, which is uh, uh, the Church of Mary, Mother of God. And uh, uh, after five years, then I was appointed to become the uh, uh, pastor of Divine Mass Parish. And uh, here in Divine Mass Parish, then we started a project of, um, of a school. And our school is called St. Paul School. It is a prime, pre and a primary school. It's a day school. And this school actually was established in 2015 on 28th of January of that year. And since then we have tr tried our best to build our school. And we started with a primary uh, preschool, building one class, two classrooms. And after that year, 2015, we started also to build other uh, uh, buildings for the primary school. So here, we are, the school has been growing very significantly. Uh, I remember when we started, we started with 92 uh, pupils. But as I speak now, we have more than 235 students in the school. And it's, the school has been one of the um, best school here in the district, just five, four years old, but uh, we have been getting a good support from the, from the uh, community and also the Divine Mass Perry. So um, we struggle a lot to, to invest, to invest in this school because our goal is to save like 700 pupils uh, by 2022. So uh, we have to put more uh, investment in the school in terms of building or infrastructures and also to improve the quality of education because that's the, 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 the need, that is the, the, the need of the, of the community. So uh, knowing that our, our community struggles a lot, we, they suffer from social economic uh, 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 socio-economic problems so we have to find we, we have been trying our best to find the way how we can we can uh, uh, make our school sustainable so um two years ago then we started a project of making bricks bricks the, the, this production of bricks has been a, a big a big um, has impact on our school in terms of also the community because we sell these bricks to make sure that the profit we earn, we, we, it helps us to build new classrooms. And this has been really um, a, a big supporting to our budget. And then, and also the, the community has been also contributing as part of, um, of, uh, of, of, their, of, their, of their support of the school by buying bricks and, uh, and the community has trying our best to support us in buying those bricks and uh, uh, to build their houses. And this has been really a, a good project which has, is, is ongoing in our community here. So um, apart from the, um, from the, from the uh, bricks production, we have the overview of what we are doing at school to try to make our school the best to produce, uh, to produce in the future, good citizens of Tanzania. So I would like to turn back this, uh, just to give an overview of what is being done at school by our uh, our headmaster, Mr. Paul Frank. We explain generally how we provide good education to our kids. So he has that opportunity to, because he has been working with the teachers with the pupils at the school so he can give the well overview and what is being done at St. Paul School. My name is Paul Frank. I'm the head teacher of St. Paul Kigera Pre and Primary. Here at St. Paul Pre and Primary School we recruit pupils from locality and we start from the age of three years 
uh, up to 14 years where we expected them to finish the primary level or elementary level of education according to Tanzania curriculum. <laughs> So here, when he, they they supposed to arrive here at eight, or eight, or according to their different distance, some they arrive here at uh, seven, half past seven. After here, they have parade, and after the parade, according to their classes, they have to go to their class and where they they get the day ray routine from monday uh we have to they, they have to attend church where they get the word of god from the priest uh and lucky enough this priest is the school manager so on the side of formation we prepare these kids or these pupils to have confidence and to prepare them at the to become people who they are they have fear to God so we prepare them to to be wise and we prepare them to have faith in God apart from academics also we build them morally <laughs> Hadithi ya watu watatu. Mtu wa kwanza kulikuwa kuna kuna mji unaitwa Samaria, mwingine unaitwa Yeriko. Yaani tuchukulie kitu moja tuseme kama mnatoka hapa Samaria iwe ni hapa Musoma, halafu Yeriko inakuwa Kunda. Sasa huyu mtu alikuwa anasafiri kutoka Musoma anakwenda Kunda. Alipofika katikati hapo karibu na Kamakara basi wakapitia majambazi majambazi wakamkamata wakampiga wakamnyanganya mali zake zote alizokuwa nazo halafu wakampiga wakamkata mapanga akalala barabarani Sasa akiwa amelala pale barabarani akaja kuchukua 
Mungai kwa dhiki fulani ilikuwa ni siku ya Jumapili anapita anakwenda kanisani kwake akamkuta huyo mtu yuko anatangia kufa mchungaji alipomwona alipita kando akaendelea na safari akaja pale na yeye anawahi kangoni magari yake alipita pale akamkuta yule mtu amelala pale amejaa madamu na pale ndio akapita akaendelea na safari zake tena kinangoni akaja mtu ambaye alikuwa anasafiri alipita pale akamwona yule mtu katika haya akaona huyu ni binadamu mwenye sana huyu binadamu ameungwa kwa sura na mfano wa Mungu maumivu anayoyapata hata mimi ningeweza kuyapata leo anaweza kuvamiwa na jambazi na mimi naweza nikavamiwa na jambazi kwa hiyo akaamua kusimama akaenda akamchukua akaanza kumpangusa vidonda vyake alivyokatwa na yale mapanga akachukua divai akampaka baadaye akamdeba tena kwenye tunda akaenda akampeleka hospitali ya Bakari na alipofika pale hospitali ni hospitali ya siku ya private anakuta anawaambia jamani naomba mtibu huyu mgonjwa mimi nilikuwa ninasafiri chochote kile ambacho kitakufua nitakaporudi nitamjibu na ndipo alifanya sasa kati ya padri kati ya mtungaji na huyu mtu ambaye alipokea anafahamu ni nani aliyetenda kwa yule yule mtu ambaye akumjua si ndio? Asante. Mwingine? Mwingine? Yes. Nani? Msamalia mwenye. Unaona? Tuombe. Hebu Mungu Mwenyezi tujadilie sakramenti hizi tulizopokea sisi kurudisha kustawisha tupate kuwa na uzima wake yeye yepokea tunaomba hayo kwa njia ya Kristo bwana wetu bwana awe nani awe bariki na kuwalinda Mungu mwenyezi baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu neneni na mani ya Kristo Are you good? Nice, nice, nice. Good to see you. Well, good. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Not only they depend to get uh, formation or to get uh, the, the 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 words of God from the church, but also we have uh, teaching and non-teaching staff whom we recruit them from different places. And what we look from this teaching and non-teaching staff we look for those who they have genuine love to these kids so that when they we bring them up they, they grow with the feeling of love that they are they are what they are doing is appreciated by the teachers or non teaching staff so we have uh, teachers and those teachers they work together but in different departments so as we know the importance of the students to practice sports and to engage in physical activities since they build them mentally and physical fit so we have a sport department my name is Ira George but you can call me Sir George I'm a teacher of pre two but also a teacher of sports and games as you see in our school we have different sports and games as simple games as Rope skyping, skyping, rope skyping side to side, rope skyping in trees, the same as hopscotch. Yeah, as you see, this area is a, a spark, children's park. Then we then just come here so as to swing in the time of swinging for example, for the day of sports and games. But apart from this, also we learn different colors. As you see these materials, they have different colors as red, yellow, and white. Therefore, we have different 
sports and games in our, our school, as you see. My name is Lucia Thorne. My school name is St. Paul. I am in Standard Theory. I want to talk about sports. We are so happy when we play games and study more because as give us a future and also make us to study more and to be good pupils. Thank you for listening. Apart from sport department also, we know that the time they spend here, although it's not the whole day, it means they, they stay here for the daytime. So we have Department of Health where they have been take where they, they will be taken care of not that much but to the extent of when they get uh, small injuries or cuts because they, they participate in sports so the small accidents may happen. So by recognizing that we have the Department of Health. My name is Mary. I am a class teacher in class one. Also I deal with the health department. In health department, we give children first aid, but in critical condition, we take them immediately to the hospital by using our car. Also, in case of small cuts or headache, we give them painkiller and we place them to rest for a moment while we pay attention to look for any change. Thank you for listening. So, as I have said, they stay here from morning up to almost at the evening. So at this time, they have to get food. So at the morning, they, 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 they attend classes first and then during nine, half past nine, they have to take breakfast. And this breakfast, they take porridge, uh, rich in starch. Uh, we put maize, a little bit of millet mixed together. Then they get uh, porridge. After porridge, they will have a little bit break, and then they go back to class, and then we expect them at uh, half past uh, past one. They have to go back again to make food. And this lunch, it's they get variety of food according to the to the, to the timetable. So they get something. Most of food they are in. Uh, African culture, you get something ugali, something is called makande, also they get rice. But not only those, we know the importance of mixing the different ingredients, make balanced diet. We not make exactly balanced diet, but we try. So we have uh, small projects of planting this vegetable. So they get twice vegetable per week. When they take to Gali, also they eat with beans and vegetables. And we, we, we are planning more to, to make this food more nice than how it is now. So it's the matter of uh, when the budget will allow us to adjust, we'll make changes. But all in all, what food they get, it's very helpful and it helps them in the process, the process of growth, and they, so they won't fear. Or when they move back to class, they will start. They don't have to think about feeling angry. They, they will be satisfied with the food. My name is William. I want to talk about food of Saint Paul. Food of of Saint Paul is very good and is very good for eating. Uh, we uh, love our aunts. If you eat food for aunts, it's very nice. And if you eat with your fellow, food is good all of the time. And thank you for listening to me. My name is Ismail and I want to talk about St. Paul environment. St. Paul environment is shining. We have flowers, trees, and the playground. We have children park. I love my aunts because they cook for us food. I love Father Robert. Thank you for listening to me. Have a nice day. Here at our school, St. Paul, the area here is about eight acres. So eight acres, it's so much big to find capital to build a fence so that for the matter of security of these people. So we are looking forward to find capital or to get uh, donors 
or to get contribution from friends of the school. So we build fence for the purpose of security of the school and security of our people. In food department, uh, the challenge is that we, the good thing is we have dining hall where the students, they can get food inside. But apart from that, we have challenge. This dining hall, as you see, the students sit down. They don't have chairs, they don't have table. So it's another thing we are looking forward to, to make changes. So our, our aim is to make the students to take food to suitable environment. It means they have to take food while they are sitting. Each take food smoothly and the food should be enjoyed by the kids. My name is Vicky Mlebi. I would like to say about school's life. Always I wake up in the morning, I go to school. There at school I just enjoy because I get knowledge from different things. Also, I share ideas from my faith for the care of our studies. I love my teachers. Also, I like playing netball. So I just advise my fellow pupils so that to study to get knowledge. My name is Paris Gaspar. I am in class 3. I am here to talk about the environment of St. Paul English Medium School. The environment of St. Paul is shining due to the following reason. It has good flowers, it contains toys for boys and girls, it has safe and clean water for drinking, especially for using, for drinking and for washing and before eating and after eating. After saying so, welcome all of you to start and play English medium primary school. Thank you. Apart from the what is being done in the school, as it has been explained by our, by our head teacher, then we saw that our schools uh, come to school in the morning around 8 and they go back home around 3.30. So this period, we see that it's, it's better that we provide food for the, our kids so that they can uh, get um, lessons very well in the classrooms while they, are, they have full something in their stomach. So we came out with another project of farm project in Isirari. It is about um, uh, like 90 kilometers away from the school, from here, from Musoma to Sirari. So we have to travel to, the, to go to the farm. And there we started that project that we can produce the, the, the food to our school, to our student, our pupils at school. So this project also is very good because we found there a very fertile land at um, Silari where they get a reliable rainfall. So uh, what we put there, we have to, we, we tried our best to ask our, the parents, uh, our pupils, to contribute for this project for part of their school fees they produced then we started the project because we know that the food sometimes there is a sarcastic food um, in, in Tanzania. So in order to be sure that we are going to feed our schools, so that's we, we tried to, to start this project. And uh, this is our second term of producing cornmeal. And it has been a very success to that we can produce the food for the student for all year. And we will continue to make this project because we know because the school will continue to live. As long as we have enough food at school, we are sure that the, our student will have a good learning experience in their classrooms. So uh, the challenge we have here in growing corn, one of the challenges is that we are using the very poor means of cultivating corn. As you can see, there is a group of women uh, weeding. They, using, they are using the local way of weeding. They use uh, holes. So we don't have machinery to cultivate a big piece of land. So what we grow is very few that we can, we can sustain ourselves as a school. But I think we need to invest more in agriculture so that we can have enough food, even in, in Tanzania in general, the government, and also in the Mara region, that people can have enough 
food, but at the same time it can be economical crops they can sell out outside the country for the countries which need enough food. So thank you very much for listening to me. Uh, I pose this challenge to you, my dear friends and the donors, that you can help us to get it a machine that we can cultivate more people for plant and then we can have enough food also to sell outside. It, ca it can also come part of uh, uh, income project income project for our school so, so that we can be sustainable in what we are doing to provide education. So that's how we, we have and uh, more you can see the view of the of what we are doing and we can see how the fetal, the, the weather is. So we expect it to, for example, this year, the, this time of the season to have this like two, uh, 250 bags of maize from this farm. So this is something we are doing just to, to make sure that also we contribute to, to, to also to, we contribute to the community that they also they can learn from what we are doing as an as academic institution. Okay, dear viewers, after explaining of what we are, a wonderful work we are doing in St. Paul, we are now, I just want to invite you, uh, as you can see, uh, our school is still growing, and uh, we are trying to find the way how we can produce more good citizens of Tanzania from St. Paul School. We see that we have to invest a lot of uh, uh, infrastructures in our school. So um, I kindly appeal to each one of you, you view this uh, work, a wonderful work we are doing, that you can support us. You can support us any way you can do so that we can continue to, to build up our school so that at the end of the day, we bring a social change in our community, not only in Musoma, but in Tanzania and also the world at large. So um, I would like also to, to, to request you, if you can support us by buying bricks, uh, whether you are from outside of the country, that you can make a donation to make that you support what we are doing at St. Paul. That will be, I will be very much, it will be much appreciative uh, for what we are, we, are, we, are, we are doing here at St. Paul. So uh, you are most welcome to view what we are doing and also we are also open-minded to receive any advice from you and how we can go further, especially to improve uh, our education uh, environment in our school and also how we can also be, bring more impact to our community in Musoma. So thank you very much for viewing this one. We look forward to that we are going to get a lot of comments from you and how you can continue to collaborate with us to make sure that we provide uh, a good education to these young people in Musoma St. Paul School and Tanzania at large. Thank you very much and most welcome to St. Paul School.